Athletic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today via tape delay from the home of the Laurel Highlands High School boys soccer team here at Mustang Field. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs take on the Bentworth Bearcats. Hi everybody, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupain and welcome you aboard for this afternoon's Fayette County Coaches Association Soccer Boys Tournament. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable and our friends at CUTV including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupain. We'll be back with the lineups for both teams after these messages. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown, has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Prime Rosak and Jerry Dupay back here at Laurel Highlands High School. The start of the high school soccer season. The Laurel Highlands boys taking on Bentworth. Laurel Highlands coming off a 10-7-1 season a year ago. They went 8-3-1 in conference play. Jerry Rogers, the Mustangs head coach, in his fifth year taking on the Bentworth Bearcats, who struggled a season ago, went 4-14 overall, 3-9 in conference play. Gary Amos, the head coach of the Bentworth Bearcats season opener for Laurel Highlands. Of course, the Mustangs very young after losing a great group of seniors a year ago. And that senior group, the Mustangs lost 41 goals to graduation. Bentworth, they already played a game so far this season, actually defeated Uniontown 8 to nothing earlier on this morning. So they're prime for a turnaround season in 2019. Let's take a look at that Bentworth Bearcats starting lineup. They'll play a 4-3-3 here today. The front line has the twin brothers, Brian and Leighton Hustava, both seniors. Brian had four goals against Uniontown this morning. Leighton had two. And also on that front line, number 21, Jersey Timlin, a freshman who also scored against the Red Raiders. In the midfield, you'll see number four, Tucker McMurray, a sophomore. Number 18, Josh Ambrose, a senior. And number seven, Landon Urcho, a freshman. Urcho had a goal against the Red Raiders. And on the back line, number one, Ricky Lopez, a senior. Number three, Colton Hustava. Steva, a sophomore, number 19, Jason Hilberry, a senior, and number 24, Trevor Richardson, a junior. In goal, number 26, Jackson Salvaski, a junior. The Bearcats starting five seniors, two juniors, two sophomores, and two freshmen against the Red Raiders. Again, Bentworth's head coach is Gary Amos. And we're back with the Laurel Highlands lineup right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. We're back here at Laurel Highlands High School. We passed along the starters for the Bentworth Bearcats. Now let's look at the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. The Mustangs playing a 4-4-2 here today. They'll have sophomore Manuel Oliveras on their front line, along with number seven, Colby Livingston. Oliveras, a sophomore, Livingston, a junior. The midfield will consist of number eight, Matt Phillips, a sophomore. Number 16, Matt Lucas. He's also a sophomore. Number 22, Nico Johns. And number 33, Carson Seaman. In fact, all four in the midfield, all sophomores for the Mustangs. And the back line, number double zero, Jason Cooper. He's a senior. Number 13, Carson D'Amico, a sophomore. Number 18, Patrick Hickel, a junior. And number 30, Ian Hamilton, a freshman. And in goal, number nine, Evan McLay. McLay, a senior. We mentioned the Mustangs losing 10 seniors to graduation last year, including Zach Mansbury, a defender, Jacob Campbell, their star goalkeeper, Colby Davis, who poured in 22 goals a season ago, Luciano McElprang, who scored a pair of goals, Josh Phillips, Justin Hartsick, Jeremy Abraham, a star defender who was maliciously injured in that playoff game against Hampton, Eli Mitchell, who had 13 goals and 15 assists last year, Seth
Kathy Anik, another defender, and Dylan Seaman, who had two goals and six assists a season ago. So certainly a little bit of a rebuilding year for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. We're going to try to get back to the playoffs for a third straight season. And we'll see what happens here this afternoon. The Mustangs opening up, opening up their season against the Bentworth Bearcats. And we're back with the start of this afternoon's match in just a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team, go Laurel Highlands Mustangs. This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Rosak and Jerry Dupe back here at Laurel Highlands High School just about set to go. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Bentworth Bearcats as our soccer season gets underway here on the South Union Township Sports Network. We'll be playing two 35-minute halves here today instead of the typical two 40-minute halves since this is a part of the Fayette County Coaches Association opening tournament. We mentioned the Bentworth Bearcats already in action today. They defeated Uniontown by a score of Eight to nothing. The Bearcats decked out in their away whites with black numbers trimmed in gold. Laurel Highlands in their typical home reds with blue shorts trimmed in white with white numbers. The Mustangs bench off to the left of your screen. Bentworth off to the right. Laurel Highlands will be working left to right as we describe it here in the first half. We mentioned Laurel Highlands had made the playoffs in three straight years, so they're actually looking for their fourth straight trip to the WPIL postseason. The Mustangs losing to Hampton 4 to nothing in a first-round game a season ago. And looking at the recent series between these two schools, Laurel Highlands and Bentworth, Laurel Highlands defeated Bentworth by a score of 8-2 to two last year. This is actually the fifth straight year that these two teams have met to start the season. And the Mustangs have won three straight in this series. The two schools also played to a scoreless draw back in 2015. Bentworth with everyone back from a season ago. And we mentioned the 10 seniors that the Mustangs lost to graduations. So we're expecting a pretty good match on tap here this afternoon. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Bentworth Bearcats. The Mustangs 10-7-1 and one a season ago. Bentworth coming off of a very uncharacteristic season of 4-14 four and 14. in the three years prior. Bet Bentworth had qualified for not only the WPIL playoffs, but had advanced to the quarterfinal round of the WPIL playoffs in single A, and they expect to be back in the postseason here in 2019 after missing out on a year in the playoffs in 2018. And Colby Livingston in the center circle to get this afternoon's match underway here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Nice to have you along with us. High school soccer is back. And it's Carson Seaman with a touch, actually wearing the same number his brother Dylan wore a season ago, number 33. Carson, only a sophomore in this Mustangs lineup. Livingston a touch, looking to go down the far boundary and deflect it off of the feet of Nico Johns and out. So the Bearcats will have a throw in there from the far side, and it goes down to Josh Ambrose, senior midfielder, double teamed by both Johns and Livingston as he sends it back to his defensive line, and Livingston adds the pressure on there for the Mustangs. A little touch back to Matt Phillips, who they expect to be very active in the Mustangs lineup, not only this afternoon, but this season as well. Seaman, a little through ball 
on the near side, trying to get down to Manuel Oliveras, who looks to center and then cleared out by Trevor Richardson, the junior defender for the Bentworth Bearcats. This Mustangs lineup very sophomore heavy. In fact, Laurel Highlands with six sophomores in their starting 11 here today. We mentioned Bentworth with five seniors, two juniors, two sophomores, and two freshmen in their lineup this afternoon. Nico Johns, another touch, now trying to chase it down. That one going back through Hamilton and on the Mustang back line on the reset there to Jason Cooper as Laurel Highlands tries to get reorganized here on the edge of the Bentworth zone. Up to Matt Lucas trying to feed it through, and it goes all the way back to the Bentworth keeper, Jackson Selvoski. Selvoski now will settle things down. We've played 90 seconds. Scoreless early on between Laurel Highlands and Bentworth. Really couldn't ask for better weather. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Match time temperature around 80 degrees. And these players will ha have to try to stay hydrated throughout the course of the afternoon. Leighton Husteva trying to chase it down. Able to keep it in play. Husteva looking for the cross out in front. Goes over the head of... Jersey Timlin out in front, and the Mustangs able to clear it back to center to Colby Livingston. And watch for the two Hustavas on the Bentworth front line, Brian and Leighton, the twin brothers. Brian with four goals against Uniontown this morning. Leighton with two goals against the Red Raiders. They played that match, started at 9 a.m. over at Bill Power Stadium, cross town. On the settle down, Matt Lucas will go cross field on the far side off the body there of Nico Johns. Johns will touch forward again to Livingston. Livingston trying to dance into the 18. Works over to the corner flag. Looks to cross out in front. A little poke there on the back line from Colton Hustava. Yes, three Hustavas in the 11 today for the Bentworth Bearcats. Over to Carson Seaman again. Intended for all of Veris. Mustang went down. That was Matt Lucas. We play on. Carson Seaman, another touch. Goes cross field on the far side. Mustang's on the reset. Hamilton settles it down. Back to Seaman. And now Lucas again. Seems to be all right. He's recovered. Comes forward again. Lucas still on it, trying to get around Colton Hustava. Ball goes over the near boundary off of Bentworth and out for Laurel Highlands throwing. Carson Seaman again to send it in. A little touch there to Matt Phillips. Forward to Matt Lucas. And deflected back again on the near boundary as Leighton Hustava tries to come forward here for the Bearcats. Leighton on it. Goes off of brother Brian, and now Brian on the regain. Sends it down on the far side, looking there for Jersey Timlin, but intercepted by the Mustangs back line. Laura Highlands on the attack. Here's Jason Cooper through center. Cooper, low ball intended for Livingston. will try to track it down top of the box. But coming forward there, Jackson Selvoski. Again, settles things down for the Bearcats. Selvoski on the lob back towards center. Going through Nico Johns. Phillips trying to head it forward, but it's the Bearcats on the breakout. Brian Hustave into the box. Going back to the Mustangs keeper, Evan McLay. McLay taking over for Mr. Campbell, who graduated from a season ago. A little collision here at midfield, and stepping in Carson D'Amico as the ball goes over the near boundary again and outs. But Jacob Campbell, a great career. At Laurel Highlands and Nets. I mentioned the Mustangs also losing 22 goals from Colby Davis on the front line and 13 goals and 15 assist, assists from Eli Mitchell, who just did a great job creating throughout the Mustangs' midfield throughout his Laurel Highlands career. Oliveris a touch, again cleared out there by Trevor Richardson back to center. Knocked down by Matt Phillips. Settles it down on the far side again to Ian Hamilton. Touch there from Johns. Colby Livingston looking to chase it down, trying to get around Richardson. Trevor Richardson will take the safe route, sending it out on the back side. It will be Laurel Highlands' corner kick. And Colby Livingston will take it. The Mustangs had two scrimmages. And talking to Laurel Highlands head coach Jerry Rogers said, tough to really tell how this Mustangs Team is going to do after those two scrimmages as Livingston sends it into the box. Knocked down there by Seaman. Pinballing around in the box. A little turn and a shoot there from Hamilton. Goes back towards J Jackson Selvoski. The Mustangs lost 12 to nothing against Franklin Regional. Franklin Regional, one of the premier programs around the WPIL, but came back and beat 
Washington High School, also by a 12 to nothing score. So the Mustangs won well out win and one well out loss in their two scrimmages. Hopefully today's action against Betworth in the next game against Altoona will give them a better feel for how things are going to go here in 2019. Bentworth on the quick reset, going through Jersey Timlin, defending there for the Mustangs. Patrick Hickel on the play, whistled down right on the edge of the box. Appeared to be just outside the 18. And it will be a free kick here. And the Mustangs will have the ability to set up the wall about 10 yards back. It's really the first prime scoring opportunity of the match here for the Bentworth Bearcats. They'll go quickly. Low shot blocked down out in front there by Matt Lucas. Deflected high over to Nico Johns. Nico trying to lob it back. Mustangs trying to get on it. A little touch there from Matt Phillips. Over to Matt Lucas. Lucas and Phillips play catch now going cross field on the near side here to Carson Seaman. Seaman into the Bearcat zone. Low ball down to Oliveris, defending on the play. Colton Husteva. Colton Husteva went down. I think Oliveris got him in the back. And they will roll a foul here against the Mustangs. Free kick for Bentworth. It'll be Selvosky to take the free kick. 27-47 left here in the first half. Bentworth and... Laurel Highland still scoreless. The Mustangs will actually open up conference play already coming up on Tuesday against rival Uniontown. And have the game for you on the South Union Township Sports Network. Laurel Highland's girls team also in action this afternoon. Actually playing at the very same time this match is taking place against Altoona. They're playing that match over at Bill Power Stadium. Kind of surprised to see both of the Laurel Highlands Program scheduled to play at the same time. Last year, both of the Mustang programs during this Fayette County Coaches Association tournament got the opportunity to play home games here at Laurel Highlands High School. Opportunity here for Livingston. Nice save from Selvosky. Deflects back to the top of the 18. And Bentworth with a clear out. Laurel Highlands trying to stay on it. Jason Cooper going low. No touch there over to Matt Lucas. Lucas settling it back there to Ian Hamilton. Hamilton off the far boundary. Another touch there from Lucas. Trying to dance around Ambrose. Lucas coming forward over to Colby Livingston. Livingston firing, set it off the bar. Deflects back in Lucas's direction. But it's Josh Ambrose looking for the clear out there for Bentworth. Getting a little help there from Ricky Lopez, but not out of the zone. Hamilton, another low ball. Going on the far side to Johns. Cross out in front off the fingertips of Salvaski. Settled down by Siemens and back into the box. And again deflected out there from Jason Hilberry. And the Bearcats. Laurel Highlands, though, on the charge, still buzzing. Matt Phillips over to Lucas. Deflected back there by the Bearcats. Off to Jersey Timlin. Timlin looking for Brian Husteva. Again, deflected down by the Mustangs. Laurel Highlands controlling the tempo here early on. We've played almost 10 minutes. This match still scoreless. Hamilton down to Colby Livingston. Trying to get around Trevor Richardson. Livingston back into the box. Look out, Livingston, a little cross. Blocked there by Selvosky and just saved by a defender. Right on the goal line. And I think that was Jason Hillberry who saved a goal there for the Bearcats. So Salvaski getting tested here early on. Again, did not give up a goal against Uniontown this morning. The Bearcats winning that match 8 to nothing. And Salvaski seeing plenty of action here early on. Now Matt Phillips will take this corner kick for Laurel Highlands. Phillips sends it into the box. Livingston there. A little poke out again from Hillberry. Goes back again over to Phillips. Again headed out top of the box. John's a little fan. Trying to circle it back though to Livingston. Pressure there in the box by Ricky Lopez. Livingston trying to stay with it. Those two continue to battle. Ball goes back over to Phillips. Played back again to Ian Hamilton. And now over towards the near boundary. Out of play. Off of Bentworth and outs, and Carson D'Amico will reload here for the Mustangs. Over to Matt Lucas. Lucas trying to circle back. Now goes off to his left. Lucas staying on it. Intended there for Phillips. Got bounced off to Carson Seaman again and sent on the back line where Patrick Hickel has a touch there for the Mustangs. And a misplay from Oliveris goes 
out off of Laurel Highlands and a throw in here for Landon Urcho and Bentworth. Urcho trying to go quickly, play whistle down here on the near side, and they're going to see an illegal throw in there from Urcho, which will give the ball for, to the Mustangs. Carson Seaman quickly into Lucas, goes back to Carson, fronted there by Urcho. Those two play catch, and then getting tripped up on the play is Lucas, and that'll be a free kick for the Mustangs. Foul went there on Urcho. Lucas goes wide on the far side, trying to find some open field there to Hamilton. Hamilton going low, no one home, and the ball rolls back into Selvosky. 23-48 left here in the first half. This match still scoreless. The Mustangs primed to make a couple of quick changes on the far side. Here's Ian Hamilton. Feeling a little bit of pressure. The ball going out. Let's we'll see if we get a sub in here for the Mustangs. We will not because it's a bet worth throwing. We'll try to lob it in there to Tucker McMurray. Mustangs again gain control. Down on the far side again to Colby Livingston. Back again to Matt Phillips. Goes wide here on the near side to Carson Seaman. Try to touch it down to Oliveras. The Mustangs on the charge. Lucas and John's going into the box. It's Oliveras on the shot. John's on the follow-up. Blocked again by a defender. And once again, that was Jason Hillberry. Hillberry has saved two goals in this match already for Bentworth. Helping out the keeper, Jackson Selvosky. Might have to take him out to dinner after this match is done. We're still scoreless. All the way back to the Laurel Highlands back line. A little touch there from Leighton Husteva. Mustang defender D'Amico went down. Leighton stays on the ball here for Bentworth. Sells it off up top. Bearcats try to break into the Mustang zone. A little too far on that touch from Ambrose down to Leighton Husteva. Goes out of play. Should be a Laurel Highlands goal kick. And now we'll see some... Changes. We'll take a quick time out here on the South Union Township Sports Network. 2209 left here in the first half. Mustangs and the Bearcats scoreless. We're back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Laurel Highlands and Bentworth scoreless. 21-51. Left here in the first half. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us for high school soccer. Here on the South Union Township Sports Network, also have to welcome back Barry Rosner to the press box here at Laurel Highlands. Nice to have Barry back along with us after Barry missed the spring season. I mean, not a Laurel Highlands game day, no matter what the sport, without Barry Rosner here. And great to see Barry back in the building here this afternoon. Carson Seaman on the touchdown over to Matt Lucas. Wide on the near side of Harry Ratcliffe, who was one of the new entries in the match for Laurel Highlands. Over to Oliveras. That pass went behind Lucas and touched off to Landon Urcho. Sends it back to center there for Bentworth. Knocked down again to Phillips. Sent along to Lucas. Now Oliveras trying to break into the box. Two Bearcats defenders there. Slow down the rush. They'll go wide and forward. Played back out again to Matt Lucas. He got tripped up by Landon Urcho, and that'll be a foul on Urcho. And a prime scoring opportunity here for the Mustangs. With 20.45 left here in the first half, free kick from about 25 yards out. It'll be Matt Lucas to take it. Four-man wall set up here for the Bearcats. And Lucas goes high on the lob, a little bit too high. Right through the goalposts. Like to have those on a Friday night. Won't do anything for Laurel Highlands here on a Saturday afternoon. And a goal kick again for Selvosky and the Bearcats. This one again has been tightly played between Bentworth and Laurel Highlands. We mentioned these two teams played to a scoreless draw when they met back in 2015. And it's turned into a traditional early season meeting between these two schools. Laurel Highlands winning three straight. Now Seaman on a cross. Settled down by Johns. But again, another clear out this time from Trevor Richardson. Hamilton breaking back. Unable to touch it down as the ball goes out of play for another Bentworth goal kick. And the Mustangs winning 8-2 to two over Bentworth a season ago. And again, that Bentworth team a little bit down, 4-14 and 14 overall, 3-9 and nine in conference play. 
a rare non-playoff season for the Bentworth Bearcats, who in fact qualified for the playoffs in four straight years from 2014 through 2017, including three WPIL quarterfinal round appearances during that time. They feel with everyone back from a season ago, they have a great chance of being back in the postseason here in 2019. And again, Laurel Highlands looking for their fourth straight trip into the playoffs and a trip called there on Ian Hamilton, free kick here for the Betworth Bearcats. And the Mustangs really victimized by some poor officiating in their 4 to nothing playoff loss last year against Hampton, including uh, a foul against Jeremy Abraham, which thanks to some great camera work from Jerry Dupe, I think the uh, clips of that infraction being seen everywhere. I think we had over 8,000 views on our South Union Township Sports Network page of that no call and no card situation against the Hampton player in that match really turned the tide in that match in Hampton's direction. Let's see what we got here. Another you know, free kick for Bentworth. We're just about midway through this first half. And Trevor Richardson will take this free kick for the Bearcats. Richardson on the lob down. We'll go all the way back to the Laurel Highlands keeper, Evan McLay. Hasn't been tested much so far in this match. He'll lob it off down on the far side. John's looking to settle it down. Does so there to Matt Phillips. Got a very young Laurel Highlands team. Six sophomores in the starting 11 here today. Now Matt Luke is trying to break. Comes free of a defender. Now pulls back on the reset. Lucas directs traffic, crosses out in front, went off the head, Seaman looking to settle it down. And again, cleared outs. I think that was Ryan Miller on the clear. New entry in the match for Bentworth. Matt Phillips trying to go quickly. And Bentworth again picking up possession. Phillips again knocks it down there for the Mustangs. Back to Jason Cooper. Cooper goes wide on the far side and played back there by Bentworth's Tanner Kinney. Kinney, another new entry in this match for the Bearcats. Expect to see a lot of substitutions in this match. We mentioned the warm temperatures this afternoon. The second of two matches here today for Bentworth. Laurel Highlands will play tonight again against Altoona. So the Mustangs will try to save some energy for that match as well later on tonight. Now Jason Cooper will put it down for a free kick for the Mustangs. And Cooper on the send ahead, headed back there again by Everett Douglas for Bentworth. Played along by Harry Radcliffe for the Mustangs. Radcliffe only a freshman. Pressed into action in the Mustangs opening match of the season. And now Bentworth a little open space here on the near side. Settled down off to Leighton Husteva. And Leighton edge of the box. A little low shot out in front. Went off the body of Patrick Hickel and outs. And this will be a corner kick here for the Bearcats. With 15.35 left in the first half. And Bentworth scoring eight goals this morning against Uniontown. Looking for a scoring opportunity out of Josh Ambrose, who will take the corner kick. Ambrose on the lob out in front. Ball pinball around. Look out, and it goes just over the goal. Just over the crossbar and out. But finally, some action in the box for the Bearcats in front of Evan McLeay. McLay tested early on, passes the first test as this match remains scoreless with 14.55 left here in the first half. Jason Cooper will blast it away here for the Mustangs, headed down by Landon Urcho, and now falling down is Tanner Kinney, foul called here on the Mustangs. And the Bearcats get another free kick here in the Laurel Highland zone. The 
It'll be Patrick Hickle to take it from 30 yards out. Hickle on the little lob, little header going again off the crossbar. Ball still loose and sent in. The initial header was taken there by Hillberry. It's Landon Urcho who scores the opening goal of the match for the Bentworth Bearcats. So Landon Urcho getting the goal here, the 14-10 mark of the first half. Bentworth strikes first, and we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Number seven, Landon Urcho. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Back here at Mustang Field, the Bentworth Bearcats striking first. A goal from Landon Urcho at the 14-10 mark of the first half as Bentworth goes up one to nothing over Laurel Highlands. Throughout the first 15 minutes or so of this match, Laurel Highlands certainly controlled the possession and seemed to have the better of the scoring opportunities, including two great saves by defender Jason Hillberry on the Bearcats goal line. And the Bearcats using some strong defense to come back and produce some good offense after a corner kick. Got a little pressure inside the zone. Had one off the crossbar and then sent in by Urcho. Urcho's second goal of the day. Had a Goal this morning against Uniontown as well. Now Colby Livingston coming back there to Lucas. Settled off to Daniel Grimm on the near side. Back again to Livingston. Livingston pulling back here on the near side. Settling it off in front there to Harry Radcliffe. Radcliffe goes down. Ball deflects out. And another throw in here for Laurel Highlands. Matt Lucas bouncing it into Matt Phillips. Over to Lucas again here on the near side. Lucas creating it off to his left. On top of the box, over to Carson Seaman. Seaman coming forward, firing, but well off the mark. I mean, another Betworth goal kick with 12.35 left here in the first half. And the Bearcats striking first, leading Laurel Highlands by a score of one to nothing. Mentioned the Laurel Highlands girls also in action this afternoon against Altoona. Their conference opener will come up on Wednesday night against Greensburg-Salem here at Mustang Field. We'll have it for you here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Our first look at the 2019 Laurel Highlands girls soccer team on Wednesday night. Jason Cooper sending it back there to Evan McAlay. And McAlay taking the safe route, sending it out on the far side for a throw-in for Brian Husteva. And again, another quick clear out there for Ian Hamilton. Bentworth gaining some momentum in this match. Brian Husteva, another lob back in. Over to Landon Urcho. Looking there for Jason Hillberry now on the attack. Mustangs playing it low and trying to get it back out here to center. Create a little Offensive attack of their own down on the far side. But it will be Ricky Lopez on the control there for Bentworth. His ball was touched out there by Nico Johns. Sent back and off the body of Urcho, who appeared to be pulled down on the play by Matt Lucas. And no one's going to go on Urcho, not Lucas, and a free kick here for the Mustangs. And Lucas will take it. Just settle it off there to Matt Phillips. Phillips sending it back to Carson Seaman. Seaman on the near side comes forward. Off to Grimm. Now Matt Phillips off to his left and wide again to Hamilton. Hamilton down to Lucas. Now Hamilton again switches back with Lucas. Lucas comes forward, a little low line drive. 
And that deflected in. That's going to be an own goal. Lucas took the shot, went off the head of a Bentworth defender. Near the back of the net to tie this match at one with 10.29 left here in the first half. Take a quick time out here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920. The area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. As we come back here at Mustang Field, Matt Lucas will get credited for the goal. He took the shot for Laurel Highlands. Ended up being an own goal off the head of a Bentworth defender. And four minutes after the Bearcats took a one to nothing lead, the own goal ties this match at one. As we go under 10 minutes left here in the first half. I'm not sure in the soccer game how they, in the uh, high school soccer game, how they get scored. If it was an international match or just go in the books as an own goal. I think here in the high school match, since Lucas was the last Mustang to touch it, he'll still get credited for the goal. Nonetheless, the Mustangs and the Bearcats are even at one. Laurel Highlands trying to add to it here again. Hamilton again looking for Lucas. And Lucas again back on the attack. Lucas getting tripped up in the box. We play on. No foul called. Played back out there by Landon Urcho. Settled back down by Radcliffe who sends it on goal. Right back to Jackson Selvoski. And Selvoski making the safe. Now the Mustangs back line getting busy again. Carson Seaman touching it back ahead to Radcliffe. Going low here to Colby Livingston. Livingston went down. Might have been a handball. Not called. We play on. Livingston looking off to his left. No one home there. Lopez looking for the clear out. And Seaman staying on the ball there for, check that, John staying on the ball there for Laurel Highlands. Nonetheless, it goes out of play. And I think we'll have a Laurel Highlands corner kick. Mustangs make a couple of changes here with 8.30 left in the first half. Match now even at one. And it will be Matt Phillips to take the corner kick here for the Mustangs. Phillips going quickly. On the settle back there to Carson D'Amico who's back in the match for the Mustangs. Another new entry, Dan Myers, wearing number 14 inside the 18-yard box, trying to create a little bit of action there for Laurel Highlands. Myers, a senior, battling there with Landon Urchill as the ball goes out of play off of Myers and outs. And the Bearcats make another change. Back into the match, Everett Douglas for Bentworth. As Ricky Lopez will take the throw in here for the Bearcats. Waiting to get the go-ahead. Lopez lobs it in to Brian Husteva. Brian Husteva, four goals against Uniontown. Layton had two. And that ball sent out of play there by Trevor Richardson. Another Laurel Highlands corner kick occurring here with 7.15 left in the first half. And this match tied at one. Landon Urcho, a goal for Bentworth. 
Matt Lucas getting credited after the ball went off of a Bearcats defender and in to tie the match at one about four minutes after Urcho scored. Matt Phillips to take this corner kick for Laurel Highlands. Phillips lobbing it high. Header there from Seaman sends it in. Carson Seaman gives Laurel Highlands their first lead of the afternoon as they go up 2-1 to one here at the 6.50 mark of the first half. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township yeah, Sports Network. Carson Seaman. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. That was perfectly executed. Carson Seaman giving Laurel Highlands a 2-1 lead off the corner kick from Matt Phillips. Phillips sending it right on to Seaman's head. And Seaman sending it past keeper Jackson Selvosky into the back of the net. Give Laurel Highlands a 2-1 lead. Over the Bentworth Bearcats. The Mustangs looking for more. Here's Lucas, sending it down the far side, went through to the defender, Lopez, over to Grimm, who tries to turn it back to Livingston. Again, stopped on the back line again by Hillberry. Hillberry saved about three goals today. One. Brendan Marzano, also into the match for Laurel Highlands, and another goal score from up top. That's Seaman again. So two quick goals from Carson Seaman. Took that one from about 30 yards out. Laurel and Laurel Highlands now three, three unanswered up three to one. Six eighteen left here in the first half. And we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night. Your debt overwhelms you. Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov, and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov, and White. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
What a turnaround here for Laurel Highlands. The Mustangs scoring four goals in the span of four minutes and two seconds. Check that, three goals in the span of four minutes and two seconds to take a three-to-one lead over the Bentworth Bearcats. Two from Carson Seaman. I think the last goal kind of got Bentworth a little bit off guard there. And Seaman sending it right on goal from about 30 yards out, following up the header he had about 35 seconds earlier where Matt Phillips assisted. And the tide of this match has turned in the direction of Laurel Highlands after Landon Urcho scored first to give Bentworth a one to nothing lead. Matt Lucas getting a goal off an own goal, and Carson Seaman with two, and now the Bearcats trying to answer back as this one will roll out of play over the near boundary and outs. Off of Bentworth and outs, and Carson Seaman will take the throw in. Over to Jason Cooper, reset back to Matt Phillips. Now Seaman again. Over to Cooper, helping it along. A little touch there from Lucas, lobbed here on the near side. Colby Livingston able to corral it there for the Mustangs, comes forward. Spins back again to Lucas, trying to create some space for the Mustangs. Lucas dancing everywhere. Some pretty moves out there. Working it around, Ambrose and Urcho. Off on the far side, looking there for Grimm, who got elbowed off the ball by Ricky Lopez. It'll be a Laurel Highlands throw-in. Ball went to the camera left of the flag down on the far side. And it will be Carson D'Amico to take the throw in. Carson lobs it side of the box. Looking to clear there again is Trevor Richardson. Mustangs again settle. Grimm looking to turn it back. Bearcats find the loose ball down to 4.15 left here in the first half. Again played back to center, knocked down there by Patrick Hickel. Forward again to Matt Phillips. Has ever Douglas on his shoulder. He sends it off again on the line drive. Did that go off the crossbar? No, it went off the football crossbar, not the soccer crossbar. So ruled out of play. It will be a goal kick here for Bentworth. The Mustangs looking hot here for, from some long-range shots. Getting three unanswered here in the first half. Now lead three to one. Now knocked down by Marzano. Headed back by Josh Ambrose. And they spin it off there to Landon Urchill. Ball goes out of play. The Bentworth's ball. Mustangs match on Tuesday will be a 7 o'clock start. Uniontown without a JV team, so they'll move the start time of the varsity match up a half an hour to 7 o'clock. Laurel Highlands girls game on Wednesday will be a 7.30 start against Greensburg Salem in both of those conference games for the Laurel Highlands girls and boys teams, both playing again in 3A this season. Again, the Laurel Highlands girls opening up the exact same time the boys are playing right now across town over at Bill Power Stadium against Altoona. Mustangs send that one out. will be a corner kick here for Bentworth, final 240 of this first half. It'll be Josh Ambrose to take the corner kick here for the Bearcats. Lobbed into the box. McLay went high looking for the save. Ball goes all the way through. And played forward here to Oliveira's on the run, but well defended there by Bentworth. Stepping in on that back line, Colton Hustava. Colton, nice low ball coming forward there. Urcho a touch, but it rolls all the way back to Evan McAlee. Evan will lob it back to center. Off the head of Colton Husteva. High in the air by Jason Hillberry. That one going off of Carson D'Amico and out. Landon Urcho will take it again. 95 seconds now left here in the first half. 
Tucker McMurray down to Ambrose. Blocked there by Cooper. Helped along by Marzano. Down to Livingston, who's fronted there by Ryan Miller. Livingston staying with it. Over to Phillips. Mustangs go back cross field here on the near side to Carson Seaman already with a pair here this afternoon. He'll take the safe route back to the keeper, McLean. We'll get a little frontal pressure there from Jersey Timlin. Seaman another touch. One minute. We go under a minute left here in the first half. Hickel trying to help it along. Controlled again by the Bearcats. A little misplay there from Colton Husteva. But deflected off of Laurel Highlands and out, and Colton gets it back here on a quick reset. Over to Josh Ambrose. Lobbed up top again to Jersey Timlin. Jersey looked to initiate the contact there on Hickel, trying to spin into the box, but it's Hickel on the clear out. Off of Marzano. Back out on the feet of Tucker McMurray there for Bentworth. Down to 33 seconds left here in the first half. Landon Urcho on the break back. Bentworth trying to get back to within one here, going into the locker room. That's Laurel Highlands out of the control, and then coming back into the play, committing the foul there was Urcho. Laurel Highlands going quickly here with only 16 seconds left in the half. Trying to get another insurance goal. Oliveira's coming forward. Ten. A couple of players went down. Ball goes to the top of the box. Livingston Seven. trying to add the pressure. Six. And the ball Five. cleared out on the far side. Four. Four. And that'll do it for the first Two. half. Three to one. one. Laurel Highlands leading Betworth here at halftime. We're back to recap Betworth the first half scoring for you in a moment here on the Four. South Union Township Betworth Sports Network. One. Just a reminder, everyone, at the concession stand is open to sneak on over to get something to eat or drink through our seven-minute. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools. Teamwork gets it done. 
The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Three to one here at halftime. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Bentworth Bearcats. It was Bentworth that started the scoring at the 14-10 mark of the first half after we played a scoreless opening 20 minutes plus. Landon Urcho getting the opening goal of the match to put Bentworth up by a score of one to nothing. Then Matt Lucas evening up the match at one off of an own goal actually went off ahead of a Bentworth defender and in at the 10-20 mark of the first half to tie this match at one. And then Carson Seaman Back-to-back -back goals, the first coming off of a corner kick that was taken by Matt Phillips. Phillips gets the assist on the first seaman goal at the 6.50 mark of the first half. That put Laurel Highlands up 2-1. to one. And then Seaman's second goal, a long-range goal from about 30 yards out, about 35 seconds after the initial goal from Seaman. Seaman getting two goals within 35 seconds. The Mustangs getting three goals in the span of four minutes and five seconds to take a 3-1 to one lead over the Bentworth Bearcats here at halftime. And we're back with the second half of this match in just a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Just about set to start the second half of this match. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Bentworth Bearcats by a score of 3-1. to one. Carson Seaman, a pair of goals for Laurel Highlands. Matt Lucas also adding a goal and an Urcho. The lone goal of the match was actually started off the scoring for the Bentworth Bearcats. And Bentworth entered this match 1-0 after an 8-0 win earlier on today over the Uniontown Red Raiders. This is the opening match of the season for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. We mentioned the Mustangs will open up conference play later on this week against rival Uniontown. The game will be played here at Laurel Highlands High School. And I'll get the second half underway as it's set back by Landon Urchill of Bentworth. And a little pressure there from Nico Johns. And it's Colby Livingston with the intercept. Livingston appeared to get tripped up there by Brian Hustava and the foul now called. 
And the Mustangs will have a free kick. As Matt Phillips goes cross field here on the near side of Matt Lucas. Back to Phillips. Settled down on the far side there by Dan Myers. And the ball going off of Myers and outs. And Ryan Miller will take the throw in there for Bentworth. And we had an illegal throw in. So Myers will have an opportunity here for Laurel Highlands now to send it in. And he'll pull back as the Mustangs change personnel. Another little foul. Foul actually called there. So it'll be a free kick for Carson Seaman. And Seaman sends it into the box. Deflected high there by Selvoski. Ball still loose. Selvoski trying to grasp it and finally hangs on. So a dicey situation out in front here again for Bentworth. And Selvoski able to hang on. The match remains 3-1 to one in favor of Laurel Highlands. 75 seconds into the second half. Now Bentworth trying to add a little pressure here. Leighton Hustava charging on, but the ball going back there to Evan McLay. McLay will fire it out to Ian Hamilton here on the near side. Hamilton feeling the pressure again from Landon Urcho. Urcho down the near boundary, crosses out in front, and a diving stop there from Evan McLay. So McLay seeing a little early action here in the second half, and that went off the shoulder of Matt Lucas and outs. Urcho taking another throw in here for Bentworth. Lob back over to Tucker McMurray, top of the box. Mustangs clear it out. Trying to set up their attack with Colby Livingston with a head of steam. Livingston and Nico Johns on the attack. Livingston a little poke and Selvoski the save. And do we have a foul here at the top of the box? We do. Looks like an obstruction call. against Bentworth just outside the 18-yard box. Another prime scoring opportunity here for the Mustangs. Bentworth fortunate that did not occur inside the box or would have been a penalty kick for the Mustangs. You have both Lucas and I believe John's lining up. And it's fired and sent in for the goal for the Mustangs, that's Nico Johns scoring his first goal of the season. And now Laurel Highlands going up by a Laurel score of 4-1. to one. One. So Nico Johns getting the goal for the Mustangs. And we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Now four unanswered goals in this match. Going up 4-1 to one over Bentworth. The latest from Nico Johns at the 32-13 mark of the second half. They'll take a 4-1 to one lead over Bentworth. And now the Bentworth keeper, Jackson Selvoski, talking to one of our match officials. I did not see if a card was issued. Maybe just a warning there to Selvoski. Not sure what he was upset about. 
And you had both. Lucas and Johns lining up there on that last free kick and sent in there by Johns. Didn't see much that Selvosky should have been upset about. Check that that was Seaman and Johns. So you have Seaman with two goals. Lucas a goal. Johns a goal on the Laurel Highland side. Landon Urcho, the lone goal of the match there for Bentworth. A little misplay on the intended pass there to Lucas. Sent back in by Urcho. It's Phillips on the control. And the advantage play there as Phillips comes forward. Going low there, looking for Harry Radcliffe. Deflected back. Lucas another touch over to Phillips. And back into Radcliffe. Low ball going through Johns. But Lucas still on the attack down the near boundary. Won't be able to catch up to it. And you see that 25 out there for the Mustangs. You instantly think of Eli Mitchell. It was such a catalyst in the midfield for the Mustangs. Now being worn by the freshman Harry Radcliffe. And he'd love to fill a similar role that Mitchell filled for four years here for the Mustangs. We've played just over four minutes here in the second half. Laurel Highlands leading Bentworth by a score of 4-1. to one. Hamilton again on the back line, double teamed. Lost the ball for a moment, now getting a little help there from Radcliffe. Hamilton stays with it. Goes low and forward there to Johns. Tanner Kinney there on the Bentworth side. Headed back by... Jason Hillberry has really done a nice job defensively for Bentworth in this match. As they did the keeper Selvosky a number of times. Lucas sends it back in again here to Hamilton. Pressured again by Urcho. Mustangs, they'll stay with it. Lucas over to Matt Phillips. Forward again to Radcliffe. Low back to Lucas. Edge of the 18. Fronted there by Kinney. Lucas stays with it. Comes back up top and finally lost the ball there to Josh Ambrose. Played back over to Hamilton. Settled again to Lucas. A little open field ahead. Lucas on the cross. Goes through Livingston and played back over to Tucker McMurray for Bentworth. Carson Seaman playing hacky sack with it off the body. Off to his left again to Radcliffe in open space. Radcliffe on the settle down again to Lucas. Lucas, edge of the box, going low out in front, looking for the deflection. A lot of contact there. No foul called as Trevor Richardson just ran over Harry Radcliffe. And the ruling is off of Laurel Highlands and out. No foul called and just a goal kick here for Bentworth. And the Bearcats fortunate there. You didn't have a penalty kick. Here's Matt Phillips, another little low ball on the far side. Colby Livingston on it, cross out in front. Johns is there, just couldn't poke it home. Well set up, and Johns about a step away from making it 5-1 to one Laurel Highlands. And the Bearcats send it back to center to Josh Ambrose. Ambrose down on the far side to Leighton Hustava. Leighton on the little lob back. Looking for Jersey Timlin. Ball goes out of play. And we mentioned the Mustangs opening up the conference season against Uniontown. The Red Raiders, from what I understand, lost a couple of players here in the last week. They're very short-handed. We mentioned they lost a... Bentworth 8 to nothing earlier on today. Also lost a match against Beth Center, which was played right before this Laurel Highlands-Bentworth game. And the Mustangs, who have dominated the recent series with their crosstown rival, certainly getting maybe a break to start the conference season against a Uniontown team that appears to be down here to start 2019. We'll see what happens. The Red Raiders always get up for playing the Mustangs. Landon Urcho on the lob into the box. A little turn, shooting a score. 
And Bentworth back to within two. On the turn and kick there, that was Tanner Kinney. And number 11, Tanner Kinney, has Bentworth back to within four to two of Laurel Highland. Still a lot of time left. 27.09 left here in the second half. And we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown, has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. So we have a match again, Tanner Kinney. A goal here for Bentworth. Cutting Laurel Highlands lead back to two at four to two. Scoring at the 27.09 mark of the second half. Kinney a substitute in this match for Bentworth. Sophomore midfielder. Scoop up again there from Selvosky. That's the first of the season for Kinney. Now a little momentum back on Bentworth's side. Brian Husteva. And both of the Husteva brothers on the front line have been relatively quiet in this match. They combined for six goals against Uniontown this morning. The whole front line, when you include Jersey Timlin, had seven against the Red Raiders. Landon Urcho added a goal from the midfield for their eighth of the match. And you had Brian Husteva, who scored four, and Leighton, who scored two, have been blanked by the Mustangs so far here this afternoon as we go under 26 minutes left in regulation time. The Mustangs sending it down to Dan Myers, but a little bit too far on that through ball on the backside. And Ricky Lopez will take the throw in here for Bentworth. Lopez back to the midfield. Body down there on the run ahead from Josh Ambrose. Rolled back in to Evan McLay. And we mentioned McLay certainly big shoes to fill. And Jacob Campbell, who the Mustangs lost to graduation in the offseason. Carson Seaman on the lob. Livingston trying to chase it down with Matt Lucas and Cleared out of play there by Ryan Miller on the back line for Bentworth. Lucas sends it back in. Touch there for Manuel Oliveris. Another sophomore the Mustangs are very high on. Lucas back to Phillips. Now Carson Seaman from 32 yards out sends it wide. I mentioned he scored a goal back in the first half from about 30 yards out. And Selvosky will take the goal kick. Body down at center by Joey Ambrose. That's Matt Phillips end of the pack with it over to Lucas. Livingston and now Lucas again. Lucas coming forward. Appeared to get pushed from behind. Nothing called there with Ryan Miller defending. 
Lucas getting back up, trying to battle for the ball again. Now he knocks down Miller, and he's going to get called for the foul. Interesting there. Now the yellow card issued as well to Lucas. So Lucas retaliated after the initial foul was not called on Miller. Gets the yellow card at the 24.05 mark of the first half. And with high school soccer rules, that means Lucas has to sit out five minutes. First yellow card we've seen issued here today. Yes, the referees want to make sure they get control of this match. And after we saw a couple of matches get out of control a season ago, really can't fault them for that. Showing some cards here on the opening match day of the season. Josh Ambrose, side of the box. And the ball going out of play. Looks like another foul was called here on Laurel Highlands. It was. So the Bearcats, an opportunity to get back to within one of Laurel Highlands. And Patrick Hickel will take this free kick from the far side here for the Bearcats. Hickel on the lob out in front. Look out. Headed there by Hamilton. Not out. Phillips now looking for the clear there for the Mustangs. Able to play it back over to Everett Douglas, who tries to head it back. But it goes over to the Mustangs. Manuel Oliveras will settle it off there to Nico Johns. Back to Oliveras on the rundown. Oliveras with a head of steam down the near touchline. Oliveras on the settle back. Goes over to Johns. Pokes it ahead over to Harry Radcliffe. Cleared back out again by Ryan Miller. But not out of the zone. Carson Seaman. Low ball on the back side. Off there to Dan Myers. Sent back ahead looking for Livingston. And played back to center there by Trevor Richardson. Bentworth looking for possession here in the Laurel Highland zone. Going low there from Leighton Husteva. Now on the attack, the Bearcats. Brian Husteva now on it. Brian top of the 18, fires and scores. And Bentworth back to within one. Brian Husteva, who had four goals against Uniontown this morning, scores here at the 22-25 mark of the second half to get the Bearcats back to within one of Laurel Highlands at 4-3. to three. And we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. Surprise, surprise, the Bearcats back in this match. Now 4-3 to three, Laurel Highlands in this back and forth game. The Bearcats struck first on a Landon Urcho goal. Laurel Highlands came back with four goals unanswered. Two from Carson Seaman, one from Matt Lucas, and one from Nico Johns. But goals from Tanner Kinney and Brian Husteva now have the Bearcats back to within one of the Mustangs at 4-3 to three, with 22.05 left here in the second half. And Nico Johns. On the quick throw and gets knocked down there by Tanner Kinney. And you can tell the Bearcats with a little spunk in their step right now, trying to lead back another attack here from Ryan, who's stable, but broken up there by Jason Cooper. Trying to go low there to Matt Phillips. Knocked down again by Josh Ambrose. Over to Leighton, who's stable. Leighton from 30 yards sends it wide of Evan McLay. There's still a lot of time left. 21-30 left here in the second half. Seven goals already in this match. Four for the Mustangs. Three for the Bearcats. We were actually at a stalemate for the first 20 minutes plus. It's a lot of action over the final 14-10 of the first half. Here through the first 14 minutes of the second half, we've actually had seven goals scored in a 28-minute span. Bearcats breaking back again with Josh Ambrose. Over to Tanner Kinney. 
Lob back there from Brandon Taylor. I think the first time we've said his name in this match. And the play whistled down here, top of the box. Free kick here for Laurel Highlands. The Mustangs still with Matt Lucas on the bench. Got the yellow card at the 24.05 mark of the second half. Has another minute and a half or so to sit before he's eligible to re-enter on the Laurel Highlands side. Daniel Grimm on that far side now for Laurel Highlands. Battling there with Carson D'Amico as the ball sent out. And the throw in goes to Matt Phillips for Laurel Highlands. Phillips dancing through center. Some pretty moves there. Phillips on the attack. Goes wide on the far side, but just too far and out of the range of Daniel Grimm. It's one of those passes you hate to see get away. But the Mustangs still keeping control here. Colby Livingston now breaking into the box. Defending there was Hillberry. Ball deflected out. What do we got here? Top of the box again. Take another foul here on the Bearcats. Get a rule just outside the 18-yard box. Harry Radcliffe will pull it back. Let's see who's going to take it here for the Mustangs. Matt Phillips coming over. Laura Highland scored their last goal on a free kick from about 20 yards out. It was more of a direct position than what we have here. Right at the corner of the box. Phillips to take this one, though, for the Mustangs. Phillips lobs it up top and a save there from Selvoski. Keeping the match at 4-3. to three. With 18.55 left here in the second half. Selvoski playing it back to center. Angled wide over to Leighton Husteva. A lot of fun to watch here on the opening match day. Back and forth action. Bearcats trying to Tie things up here on the rush. The player going down. That was Josh Ambrose. No foul called. We play on. Ambrose thought he was fouled in the box. Would have resulted in a penalty kick. It's played back again to center. Poked there by Hillberry. I was looking for Everett Douglas. But the Mustangs again pick up control on the settle down over to Oliveris. Oliveris on the chip down on the back side of Colby Livingston. Livingston was fronted there by Ricky Lopez. Ruled out of play off of Laurel Highlands and out, and Lopez will take the throw in as we go under 18 minutes left here in the second half. Lopez lobbing it in. Everett Douglas. Spun back again by Matt Lucas. Over to Colby Livingston. Now Phillips again. There's his brother Josh. Graduate in the offseason. Sent into the box. Nico Johns and Oliveras were both there and neither could find the ball. It was all the way through for another Betworth goal kick. So the Mustangs creating scoring opportunities. Missing on a deflection there. We remain at 4-3 to three in favor of Laurel Highlands. Jersey Timlin back in the match on the Betworth side. Bearcats with six available substitutions. Laurel Highlands, of course, being a 3A school here in a four-classification soccer system. More personnel to work with in the Bearcats. They just dressed 17 here today. Oliveris, corner of the box, play whistled down, offsides. A free kick again for the Bearcats. Once again, Selvoski to take it. Mustangs would really like to see an insurance goal now with their lead down to one. Get a little breathing room back. Oliveris again. On the low poke, out of the range of Livingston, back to Selvoski again. And Selvoski again will play it back towards center. Going off the body there of Jersey Timlin, battling there with Ian Hamilton. 
and out of play. It'll be Bentworth's ball. And Timlin to take another throw in. A reminder, if you're watching this game on Atlantic Broadband or Armstrong Cable, I'd like to let you know that South Union Township Sports Network games and programs now available online, easy to find. Just log on to YouTube.com, search South Union Television, or follow the South Union Township Sports Network on Facebook for program updates. It's Facebook.com slash South Union TV. Our Highlands looking for their fourth straight win over Bentworth in this series. Winning 8 to 2 last year, 2 to nothing back in 2017, 4 to nothing in 2016. And these two teams play to a scoreless draw in 2015. Bentworth fighting back down one. Kind of tie things up. Jason Cooper going low. Went off of Lucas, who's back out there after having to sit out five minutes after picking up that yellow card. And now Oliveira's going down after the slide tackle from Jason Hillberry. Lucas again reloads over to Oliveras, back to Lucas. Lucas from the near boundary stops the ball. Now sends it back into the box, going off of Brandon Taylor and sent high on the back side. Landon Urcho, I think the intended recipient on that pass. Now it stings with Carson D'Amico there as it goes out of play. Bentworth ball, Ricky Lopez to take the throw in. A little cloud cover now in the sky. Not expecting to see any precipitation today. It may come tomorrow. Both of these teams will return to action next week. Mustangs on Tuesday. Opening up a conference play against rival Uniontown. Ian Hamilton turning it back there again to Johns. And now Hamilton again. Cross out in front off the head of Livingston. Johns is there. Loose out in front. And finally covered there by Selvosky. Wow. They actually ruled it off of Bentworth and out. Selvosky took possession out of play. So it will be a Laurel Highlands corner kick. Bentworth also opening up conference play on Tuesday as well. They'll host California. Matt Phillips to take this corner kick for the Mustangs. And same conference classifications as we saw a year ago as Phillips will take the corner kick headed by a Bentworth defender deflected back there to the Mustangs' Dan Myers. And over to Salvaski again, who will settle things down. We're in the second of a two-year conference cycle. So as we said, both of these teams in basically the same conference they were in a season ago, as far as the same conference opponents. Laurel Highlands with Ringgold, Bell Vernon, Greensburg, Salem, Trinity, Uniontown, and Albert Gallatin. Four playoff qualifiers in that conference a year ago. We'll get back to that in just a moment as Livingston a scoring opportunity here for the Mustangs. Colby working off to his right, defending there is Hillberry. The Mustangs unable to create much of that. And Lopez coming back. The collision there with D'Amico. And the play whistled down. We had Ringgold, Belvern, and Laurel Highlands and Greensburg Salem qualify for the postseason a year ago. Ringgold won the conference at 10-2. Bell Vernon and Laurel Highlands tied for second place. Both teams 8-3-1 and one, and Greensburg-Salem at 7-5. Trinity at 6-6 six six finished a game out of a playoff spot. You'd have to think if things hold serve again here in 2019, you'd like to get to at least 500 or one game over 500 to lock yourself in to the WPIL playoffs. And that's what both of these teams, at least Laurel Highlands and 3A, will be shooting for. And it appear to be a pretty hard foul there from Richardson. Knocking down Lucas. Nothing was called as the ball goes out of bounds here on the near side. Bentworth plays with Seton LaSalle, Brentwood, Bishop Canavan, Manesson, Shar Houston in California. I mentioned the Bearcats missed out on the postseason last year, went three and nine in conference play. Playoff qualifiers a season ago were Seton LaSalle at eleven and one, Brentwood at eight two and two, Bishop Canavan at seven three and two, and Manesson at seven four and one. With Shar Houston at 3-8-1, Bentworth at 3-9, and, and California at 0-12. Oh 
missing out on the postseason, but talking to the Bentworth coaching staff, including their head coach, Gary Amos, and assistant Matt Antovich, and Nick Malarby. They think this team's geared for the playoffs in 2019 and trying to tie this match up with a little turnaround shot there. Just going wide, and McLean's been tested here in the second half. Things have kind of settled down here over the last 10 minutes or so. But the match still at 4-3 to three in favor of Laurel Highlands over Bentworth. Still far from being decided so far. Dan Myers over to Hamilton. Hamilton going low here again, sending it forward again to Nico Johns. Bearcats a little poke off, and now Cooper stepping in front of a sliding jersey Timlin, pulling it forward to Matt Phillips, who's trying to work his way around Landon Urcho. Sells it down on the far side to Matt Lucas. Lucas back to Phillips. 9.40 left in regulation time. Laurel Highlands the ball leading by one at 4-3. to three. Over to Myers, and now Myers and Hamilton both collide with Colton Husteva. Allowing the ball to come back to center as Jersey Timlin battles Jason Cooper. And back on the Bearcats' back line, Trevor Richardson goes high. Mustangs knock it down. Jason Hilberry down on the play. And an injury timeout. With 9-13 left here in the second half, Hillberry down. We'll step aside for a timeout as well. 4-3. to three. Laurel Highlands over Bentworth here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by doctors Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Back here at Mustang Field after the injury timeout, 9-13 left here in the second half. Our Highland still leading Bentworth by a score of 4-3. The last goal we had scored in the match actually by Brian Hustava of Bentworth back at the 22-25 mark of the second half. So things have settled down after a pretty wild 25-minute stretch which saw all seven goals scored in this match towards the final 14 minutes of the second half in the opening 13 minutes or so of the second half. And actually a little drop ball here for the restart. Don't see that too often. And Austin's back on it. Matt Lucas over to Brendan Marzano. And now Lucas initiated the contact there, knocking down Colton Husteva. And we have Bentworth free kick. And buckle up here for the final 847. Bearcats down a goal. Don't be surprised. We see them throw a couple defenders forward trying to even up this match. I do understand we would have an overtime period here for the Fayette County Coaches Association tournament, followed by a shootout. And the rules that were sent out by Laurel Highlands Athletic Director Mark John earlier in the week. I believe a 10 minute overtime followed by the shootout. So keep that in mind just in case the Bearcats would knock things up. 
as Matt Phillips comes forward. Off to Dan Myers. Myers on the breakdown down the far wing with Tucker McMurray defending. The ball goes out of play. So we got our eight minutes left in regulation time. Brian Rozak alongside Jerry Dupay. Nice to have you along with us here in the South Indian Township Sports Network, whether you're watching on Atlantic Broadband Channel 17, Armstrong Channel 61, or on our YouTube page by searching South Union TV. Great to see the subscribers growing on the YouTube site and the likes increasing up on our Facebook page as well, where we post all of our broadcasts and other pertinent information about the South Union Township Sports Network and activities going on inside the township. Of course, the high school football season also underway. We have all of the Laurel Highlands High school football broadcast up there for you as well, including township supervisor meetings and school board meetings. And everything you want to know local. Here's Matt Lucas coming back here for the Mustangs. Forward to Ratcliffe. Harry's played well in his varsity debut. Here for the Mustangs. Back to Lucas. Little chip knocked down, and there's John's. Right on top of it, just going to get a piece of it to get a shot away. And Josh Ambrose on the clear back towards center. Settled down there by Jersey Timlin. He's looking there for Brian, who's Staven, ever got his way. Final 636 of the second half. Laurel Highlands leading 4-3. to three. Matt Lucas back to Ian Hamilton. Touch there for Marzano. Up to Lucas. What a battle here with Tucker McMurray. Over to Matt Phillips. And down on the far side again to Harry Radcliffe. Off to Colby Livingston. Fronted there by Richardson on the cross looking for Johns. Cleared out again by Ryan Miller. Urchill looking for the break back for Bentworth. Ball goes out of play in front of the Mustang bench. And on your camera left, Jerry Rogers Jr. Mustang assistant coach. With the blue shirt. Throw in taken there by D'Amico. There's Jerry Rogers, senior head coach with a red hat. Nice to have Jerry Sr. and Jerry Jr. back for another year of high school soccer. Jerry Sr. now in his fifth year at the helm of the Mustangs. Both do an excellent job in this Laurel Highland soccer program. Matt Lucas back to Matt Phillips. Now Lucas again. Lucas up top, still battling, firing, and just missing. As Laurel Island's looking for that all-important insurance goal up four to three. We approach the five-minute mark of the second half. And talking to both Jerry Sr. and Jr. before the start of the match, they said no doubt this is a rebuilding year for our Laurel Highlands program. The way the Mustangs have Rebuilt, though, over the years. Don't be surprised if we see this Laurel Islands boys soccer team sneak into the playoffs here in 2019, especially as this team gels throughout the course of the season. I think they certainly have some opportunities to certainly be competitive in the conference. They've really controlled the recent series with both Fayette County opponents, Albert Gallatin and Uniontown over the years. Just about who else you can beat out in the conference as well. Trinity has improved their program. Of course, Ringgold at the top of the table now. Bentworth trying to tie this match up. Josh Ambrose putting it right on. Evan McLay. McLay sending it out of play. The Ringgold Rams at the top of the table a season ago. Bell Vernon and Laurel Highlands really have developed a rivalry over the last few years. And Greensburg Salem, always a contender as well. Should be another fun year inside the conference. 3.45 to play. Bentworth struck first. Laurel Highlands came back with four unanswered. That might be a walk in the park the rest of the way, but Bentworth getting back-to-back -back goals here in the second half to make it 4-3. to three. Still battling. A little header there from Ambrose. Ball still loose. Mustangs needing a clear out, and they'll lob it back in Nico Johns' direction. But out of play. 
And Landon Urchill reloads again here for Bentworth. Looking for Tucker McMurray, who appeared to initiate the contact there, knocking down Matt Lucas. No foul called. And another Bentworth throwing. Sent in again by Urchill. Lob back by Carson Seaman, headed along there by Harry Radcliffe, down to Ricky Lopez for Bentworth, 2.53 to play. Lopez going low as the ball goes through Matt Phillips and out of play. It'll be a goal kick here for the Mustangs. Be taken by Jason Cooper, angled wide on the near side to Matt Lucas, back to Ian Hamilton, 2.32 to play. Our Highlands, they don't mind. We're on a little time off the clock. Bentworth's going to have to come out for the ball. Mustangs are going to play four corners around here, trying to play keep away, but Bentworth getting possession back here again just for a moment with Urcho. But Lucas finds the loose ball over to Phillips. Back to Lucas again. Again, pressure there by the Bearcats. But Phillips coming free with the ball there for the Mustangs. Down on the far side on the settle down to Radcliffe with 2.03 to play. Harry Radcliffe down to Colby Livingston. Livingston fronted by Lopez. Livingston works off to his left, staying with it. Now trying to go back to his right. Lopez all over him. Mustangs trying to get some help with Marzano stepping up, but it's Lopez that finds the loose ball. Lopez on the through ball. Knocked down there by Carson D'Amico. 144 to play. D'Amico looking for the clear out. Went off of Lopez and out. So it's Laurel Highland's ball. Lopez appears to be shaken up right now, but we're going to play on. Colby Livingston trying to go cross field on the near side. Never got to Matt Lucas. Chip back ahead by the Bearcats. Carson Seaman sends it back high for Laurel Highlands. And now we'll get an injury stoppage here for Ricky Lopez, who appeared just to catch a stinger there in front of the Bearcats bench with 124 to play. So the Bearcats given an opportunity to make a substitution. We'll see another drop ball here with 124 to play. I wonder if that was a new rule in the offseason. We've not seen that in the past. Usually you have a, a courtesy send down in those injury stoppage situations. But the drop ball as Leighton Hustava tries to come forward down the far side. And it will be Bentworth's ball as we go under 75 seconds left. Look out. Look for the defenders to come up here defensively for the Bearcats. And the ball now top of the 18 here in the Laurel Highland zone. Headed a couple of times. Set high there from Carson D'Amico. Bearcats try to settle it down there with Landon Urcho. Mustangs trying to clear it out with Jason Cooper. Deflected down there by Tucker McMurray. Ball still loose in front of Evan McLeay. And now Matt Lucas will send it out on the far side. 45 seconds to play. Landon Urcho on the throw in. Back into the box. A Bearcat goes down. Ball loose then deflected wide. And they're going to rule this off of Laurel Highlands and out. No, it's going to be off of Bentworth and out. So it will be a Laurel Highlands goal kick. Bentworth just trying to aid them, trying to get the ball back to Cooper in time. And Laurel Highlands will try to take a little time off the clock here. Cooper on the line drive. Back to center. Fanning on it there was Everett Douglas. And now you have Selvosky way out. 11 Ten, seconds left. Nine, Bentworth eight, knocking it down. They're off seven, the body of Jason Hillberry. Six, Hillberry stepping five, up in the play. Four, Ball goes high in the air. Down to three. Down to two. Down to one. The Mustangs will hang on. Winning their season opening game. Four to three. Over the Bentworth Bearcats. But boy, this one got tight late. Again, recapping the final scoring. Landon Urcho got the Bearcats on the board first. A goal at the 14-10 mark of the first half. And the Mustangs coming back with three unanswered goals within a period of four minutes and five seconds. Two from Carson Seam and one from Matt Lucas. And the Mustangs led 3-1 to one at halftime. Nico Johns put the Mustangs up 4-1 to one with a goal at the 32-13 mark of the second half off of a direct kick. But Bentworth coming back with back-to-back -back goals from Tanner Kinney and Brian Husteva. To make the score 4-3, to three, the Ustava goal coming at the 22-25 mark of the second half. We played the final 22-25 without a goal. Certainly plenty of opportunities on both sides. But the Mustangs hang on for the 4-3 to three win over the Bentworth Bearcats. And today's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. Your final score, Laurel Highlands 4 and Bentworth 3. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.
Up next will be Laurel Highlands, and now Tuna JBs. Thank you. 